Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project employing blockchain technology to strengthen security of wireless sensor networks. Introduction. This project's primary aim is to improve the security of wireless sensor networks (WSN) by incorporating blockchain technology. Traditional WSNs face several challenges. They rely on centralized servers creating single points of failure and compromising data integrity. To address these challenges, the project integrates blockchain technology. Blockchain is like a digital ledger that records transactions securely and transparently. Instead of having all the data in one place, blockchain stores records as blocks of data, each with a unique code called a hash. These blocks are distributed across multiple computers or nodes, making it much harder for anyone to tamper with the data or compromise the entire system. And blockchain has several advantages. It is decentralized, which means there is no single controlling authority, making it resistant to manipulation. Transactions are transparent so everyone can see them. It is secure due to strong encryption. It accelerates encryption decryption processing time, and once data is added, it is nearly impossible to change. There are many types of blockchains such as Ethereum, Bitcoin, Stellar, Ripple, etc. Each has its unique features, governance models, and target use cases. We are using Ethereum in this project. Ethereum goes beyond just recording transactions. It allows developers to create small computer programs called smart contracts. These smart contracts, without the need for a centralized authority, manage and secure sensor data. Objective of the project. So as i mentioned before the primary aim of this project is to enhance the security of wireless sensor networks wsn through the implementation of blockchain technology the project focuses on using blockchain to store sensor data securely as tamper resistant blocks sensor data is stored in a way that makes it extremely difficult to alter or tamper with each data block is associated with a unique hash code ensuring the integrity and authenticity of the data to enable efficient data access, the project aims to establish a repository for sensor data within the blockchain. By centralizing sensor data in the blockchain, authorized users can easily access and interact with it, ensuring data availability and trustworthiness. The project includes the creation of smart contracts using Solidity code. Smart contracts are agreements with predefined rules. In this project, these contracts define the functions responsible for storing and retrieving sensor data within the blockchain ensuring secure data management and a user friendly web server interface is designed for users it simplifies user interactions providing a seamless experience for accessing sensor data stored in the blockchain users can sign up login and retrieve data with confidence in its security and accuracy requirements needed to execute this project are hardware requirements processor of i5 and above ram of 8 gb and above rom of 25 gb and above Software requirements needed are Node.js, Python 3.7.0 and Visual Studio Community version. To execute this project, we have designed two modules, WSN Simulation and Web Server. So these are the features in WSN Simulation module and these are the features in Web Server module. So the first feature is Start WSN Simulation. This feature initiates a simulation of wireless sensor networks WSN. Simulated nodes generate random data such as temperature readings which mimic the behavior of real Internet of Things connected sensors. The second feature is Stop Simulation. This option allows us to stop the WSN simulation when it's no longer needed. The third feature is Transaction Processed Graph. This feature provides a graphical representation of the time taken to process each transaction within the system. It allows us to visualize how efficiently the system is handling data transactions. So the first feature in web server is new user sign up. In this feature, new users can create accounts by signing up. Users provide their details to create a secure account for accessing Internet of Things sensor data stored in the blockchain. The second feature is user login. Registered users can log in to their accounts using this option. After successful login, they can access the project's features and data. The third feature is Access Blockchain WSN. This module allows users to securely access Internet of Things sensor data stored in the blockchain. Users can select specific sensors or data points to view and interact with. Blockchain Integration So, instead of relying on a single central server, 
blockchain technology is used to store data across multiple nodes in a decentralized network this decentralization enhances data security and availability and in the project the mdn that is mobile database node acts as an intermediary between small sensors and the blockchain it mines blocks using the sha256 algorithm that is secure hash algorithm 256 bit generating unique transaction hash codes for data this ensures data security and integrity so each block in a blockchain is linked with a unique hash code these blocks are maintained across multiple nodes or servers before storing new records, blockchain verifies the hash code of each block. If any block data is modified, it results in a different hash code triggering security alarms and ensuring the integrity and immutability of the data. And users are granted secure access to wireless sensor network WSN data stored in the blockchain. This access guarantees data authenticity and security, allowing users to retrieve and interact with the data confidently. Smart contracts written in Solidity code manage data within the blockchain. They define how data is stored and retrieved, ensuring consistent and secure operations. And due to the absence of physical Internet of Things sensors, simulation nodes are used to generate simulated temperature data. This data mimics real sensor readings and is securely stored in the blockchain, allowing for testing and validation of the security system. Execution of the project To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is hello eighth folder. In this folder, I have a node modules folder. This folder consists of dependencies or modules needed for the project. Now open .bin folder. This folder often contains executable scripts related to the project's dependencies. So here we can see a run blockchain.bat file. Double click on it to start the blockchain environment this script will initiate the local ethereum blockchain for development purposes it contains commands to start the blockchain environment now the blockchain is hosted on the local machine at the local host and port now this address allows us to interact with the blockchain using various tools and applications now execute the command truffle space migrate to compile and deploy the smart contracts so i'm typing truffle space migrate and hit the enter button. So Truffle is a development framework for Ethereum that simplifies the process of compiling and deploying smart contracts. They are deployed on a blockchain network and can facilitate various transactions such as transferring tokens or managing digital assets. Once the migration process is complete, Truffle will provide us with a unique Ethereum contract address. So this is the contract address. This address represents the location of the deployed smart contract on the blockchain. And here we can see gas used. To execute the solidity file and compile smart contracts, this is the amount of gas consumed. Now minimize this. So in WSN strengthen security folder, so this is static folder which contains files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. These files contribute to the visual and interactive aspects of the application. This is templates folder. Within this folder, we'll find all the HTML pages used throughout the project. It includes pages like index.html, home.html, and more representing various sections of the website. These are Python main code files. This is WSN security SQL file. This file consists of Solidity code. It handles data structures, functions, and events with modifiers for validation. And this is done WSM simulation bat file. By double clicking on it, we can start WSM simulation. And this is done web server bat file. By double clicking on it, we can start Python web server. Now I am double clicking on run WSN simulation bat file. Instead of executing the project through command line interface, we have created these windows bat files to execute the project. Now this graphical user interface will be open. With this we are interacting with the program. We have used tickinter library to create this graphical user interface. And here we can see start WSN simulation, start, stop simulation and transaction processed graph buttons. So click on start WSN simulation button. And here we can see blue color circles 
Each blue color circle represents one WSN node which will send data and then send it to MDN that is mobile database node for hashing and this hash data will be stored in blockchain. And in text area we can see each sensor is sending temperature data and we can see hash code with timestamp. And as I mentioned before, these details will be stored in blockchain. Now I'm clicking on stop simulation button to stop sending data. Now click on transaction processed graph button to see time taken to process each transaction. So in this graph on x axis I have number of sensor transactions and on y axis I have time to process that transaction. Now close this graph. Minimize this. Now double click on run webserver.bat file to start python web server. So the flask framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it type index at the end and hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using flask framework. And here we can see user login new user sign up links if we are new users we have to register first click on new user sign up link so fill in all these details and click on submit button to sign up so the username would be ravi give the password give the contact number give the email id give the address and after filling in all these details now click on submit button in the red color text we can see user sign up task completed now we log in click on user login link give the previously mentioned credentials username and password and click on login so we have logged in as ravi and here we can see access blockchain wsn data using web service and logout links click on access blockchain wsn link So here we can see access WSN data screen and here user can select desired IoT sensor ID from the drop down. I am giving it as IoT3 and click on submit. So we can see selected IoT ID and sense temperature value with previously generated hash code. So similarly we can select any IoT and access its data. So again click on access blockchain WSN link. So this time I am giving it as IoT2 and click on submit. So we can see the retrieved data, the IoT ID, sense temperature and the previous hash codes. Now click on logout. So the conclusion here is. The project successfully showcased the effectiveness of blockchain technology in significantly improving the security of wireless sensor networks data. By dispersing data across multiple nodes in a decentralized manner, the project adeptly reduced the vulnerabilities associated with centralized servers. This reduced the risk of data tampering and unauthorized access. Ensuring data integrity was paramount. Data was stored securely as tamper resistant blocks each equipped with a unique hash code fortifying the trustworthiness of the information. Despite the unavailability of physical IoT VSN, WSN sensors, the project utilized simulation nodes for rigorous testing and validation of the blockchain based security system. Creating and using smart contracts which were written in solidity provided a strong structure for handling and getting sensor data from the blockchain. The project's web server interfaces was designed with user friendliness in mind, allowing users to securely access and engage with IoT sensor data with ease.
and we carefully examined how long it takes for transactions to process and showed this information visually this analysis helps us to see how well the system was working and making sure that getting data remained fast and efficient and in conclusion the project successfully demonstrated that by integrating blockchain technology the security and integrity of data collected from iot connected sensors can be significantly strengthened ensuring its trustworthiness and reliability for various applica- applications thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.